when we learn the organic chemistry or the mechanism of organic chemistry we must know the different types of arrows used in organic chemistry this is the first arrow this is nothing but the forward arrow this indicates that the reactant get converted into the product side so let's say if we have the reactant as r and we have products so we must show this completion of reaction by this forward arrow like that here you can see the equilibrium arrow in this equilibrium arrow we have this these are the like half headed arrow and this is also the half headed arrow in opposite direction this shows the reaction that is reversible reaction here also we can take one example let's say if we have the acetic acid so when this acetic acid reacts with the water molecule like that now we have h2o so it gives acetate ion ch3 c double bond o o minus plus h3o plus so while writing this reaction at that time generally we use equilibrium arrow this indicates that overall reaction is reversible reaction so here you can see that the reactant will get converted into product and simultaneously this product may get converted into the reactant the third arrow is the resonance arrow this is generally used to show the interconversion between the resonance forms of the molecule let's take one example of benzene so in case of benzene we have the pi bonds like that when we do the transformation of electrons from one place to another place so like that like that at that time we get the structure so we have double bond over here now we have double bond double bond at that time we must show this two structure as a resonance structure with double headed arrow now we have another some arrows and these arrows are generally used in different organic reactions now this is the curve full headed arrow this indicates the moment of a pair of electron from one bond or atom to the another place between atoms where the new bond is being made this is the curved half headed arrow and this represent the moment of a pair of electrons from one atom or bond to new place between the atoms where new bond is being made so simply this is used while we are writing the heterolytic cleavage in free radical type of mechanism then we have the retrosynthesis arrow this retrosynthesis arrow is used to show while we are writing the retrosynthesis of any molecule means from target molecule to reactant side this is the broken arrow and this is used to show the reaction that don't work so let's take one example if we have the starting material like that here we have fluorine and the expected product is like that so it must it means that we must take the potassium iodide as a reactant so here positive charge and iodine carries sorry negative charge so here while writing this reaction we know that the fluorine is not a good living group and that's why this reaction will not complete so we must write the arrow like that it means that this reaction is unsuccessful reaction and the last arrow is the dash arrow 
this is often used to show the theoretical transformation of the product so all these arrows are very much important in organic chemistry